My name is Lamont Ratchford, uh, founder of Higher Definition Radio. Uh, doing this month, we want to take time to spotlight local businesses and private citizens who are doing great things in the community. Our goal for Higher Definition is to make sure that our community is well represented with positive and enlightening information. Uh, during this pandemic, it has been tough on a lot of people, and we want to make sure that we are representing our community well. My name is Talisa Crawford. I am born and raised in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I have two wonderful children. My daughter is 28, she's a teacher. My son is 18, he's a freshman at North Carolina Central University, and my granddaughter is three. What motivates me uh, are my children um, and my granddaughter. Um, them seeing the things that I have uh, endured, good and bad, um, gives me the, um, the confidence that I can do and be anything. The advice I would give to my younger self is to uh, not take life so seriously. And what I mean is that enjoy the moments, um, the good and the bad. Um, just take life um, by the horns and just have fun. Enjoy each day to the fullest. Um, we're all given an expiration date, so while you're here, just to make sure that you enjoy life, but enjoy it responsibly. The advice I would give to a, a younger female is to uh, know that you don't have to be on the scene um, to be seen. Um, you will be noticed whether you're wearing a dress, pants, skirt, makeup, weave, natural hair. The right person or persons will notice you when you need to be noticed. It's okay to want to be or have what Cardi B has or Meg the Stallion has, but you don't have to live those lifestyles in order to get those things that they have. I have been a paralegal at Phillips and McRae for three years. My journey was not easy, um, but it has been very rewarding and I would not take anything away from it. I initially got my degree in 2013. My first job came right out of uh, earning my degree and I loved what I did. I uh, didn't have the, the best experience and it totally um, messed with my confidence. I stayed away from it for a while, but I knew my heart was in law. So I got back into it, um, applied for a position that I was not qualified for. Uh, but long story short, I was given the opportunity and um, three years later, I'm still here. I was a little reluctant about purchasing a home. Um, I knew I was becoming an empty nester, so I wanted to do something for myself. Um, I will say, uh, whether you live in a home, uh, rent, own, um, I do think it is a, a process and it's something to be thought about. Um, don't feel pressure to become a homeowner because at 44 years old, um, I bought my second house. The first house didn't go as planned, um, but I bounced back. And on this journey here, it's totally different and a lot more rewarding. If you are contemplating on home ownership, um, just look at all of the, the pros and the cons because everyone says, well, you know, you own something. And the reality of it, you don't own it until the end of that loan. But it is rewarding walking into my house that it has my name on it. But it was also rewarding walking into my apartment that was in my name. So don't feel pressured to become a homeowner when you're not ready. Talk to people, get positive feedback and then make your own judgment. But yes, it is very rewarding, but again, it is a lot to deal with. Honestly, I'm not sure if I have a favorite quote that motivates me, looking at my children, my grandchild, that is what motivates me. Um, they don't have to say anything, they don't have to do anything, uh, but just knowing that um, whenever I am up, down, sideways, um, they're always there. I can see a smile, I can see a frown from my son. Um, my grandbaby giving me a hug, so that is what motivates me. Friendship is very important to me. Um, my mom has always told me in order to have friends, you have to know how to be a friend. So I've been on this journey called growth and just self-reflection, and I've um, told my friends several times how much I love them, appreciate them, how much they mean to me. Everyone needs a friend. Everyone needs that person who is going to give them love, the heart truth, and still be there for them when they fall, when they're up, when they're down. So I do think friendships are um, so important. And if you don't have a friend, 
I could be your friend, but seriously, um, friendships are so important and lifelong friendships are even more important. So if you have a friend, truly, truly cherish that person or a person.